don't think I can And the couch has got me now Yeah, the couch has got me now It's a slow and heavy current I'm not fighting it somehow This piece is in my bones A weight I'm glad to keep The long and final surrender Alright, let's talk about CBD. But we're going to do it a little differently today. We're diving into this really fascinating text, the Cannabis Bible, to figure out why it gives CBD this, well, this epic title, the Archangel of Balance. Pretty cool, right? So right out of the gate, the text hits us with this incredible quote. I mean, think about that imagery. It perfectly sets the stage for our two main characters. You've got THC, the fiery chariot. We all know that feeling, right? It lifts you up. But then, then you have our hero for today, CBD, and it's the anchor that grounds the soul. A completely different vibe. Okay, so we've got the anchor, but what does that really mean? Who is this Archangel of Balance? Let's dig in and find out. And this is where it gets really interesting, where science meets poetry. In a lab coat, you'd call it cannabidiol, right? CBD? But this text, it calls it a non-psychoactive guardian. And that's the whole point. It's not about getting high. It's not about intoxication. It's all about that grounding influence. That's why it gets this incredible title, the Archangel of Balance. So this idea of grounding, it leads us to what the text calls the blessing of presence. I love that phrasing. It really makes you wonder, okay, so what does that actually feel like? And here's the key thing you got to understand. CBD isn't trying to send you on some cosmic trip, you know? It's not about ascension. Its whole job is to bring this deep sense of peace to your body, to help you feel more in it, not out of it. It's really all about just being present. Okay, this really lays it all out, doesn't it? On one side, you've got THC, the fiery chariot. It's psychoactive. It lifts you up. On the other side, there's CBD, the anchor. It's non-psychoactive. It grounds you. I mean, you can't get a clearer picture of two opposing but complementary forces. All right, so if it's all about grounding and peace, what does it actually do for you? What are the real-world benefits? Well, the source gets poetic again calling them hymns of earthly grace, basically blessings for your body. Let's break down what this beautiful language actually means, because it's pretty powerful. Whispering silence to anxious demons, that's a poetic way of talking about its calming effect on anxiety. Calming the storms of inflammation, well, that's a nod to its well-known anti-inflammatory powers. And offering a steadying hand for tremors, that points to how it can help soothe the nervous system. See, it's poetry with a purpose. But here's the twist. The story isn't just THC versus CBD. They're not just opposites. It's their partnership, their relationship. That's the really interesting part. So what happens when these two get together? Yeah, the text puts it perfectly with this question. What does happen when the fiery chariot is guided by that steadying anchor? You've got all this powerful visionary energy from THC. But what happens when you add the calm grounding presence of CBD to the mix? And here's the answer. And it's so cool. They don't just cancel each other out. Not at all. They sing a chorus together. They create this synergy. The anchor doesn't stop the chariot. It guides it. This creates an experience that's way more balanced, way more nuanced, and honestly, more powerful than what either one could ever do by itself. And you know what? This beautiful poetic idea of a divine harmony, it actually has a real scientific name. You've probably heard of it. The entourage effect. It's this proven idea that all the different compounds in cannabis work better when they're together. They boost each other's good qualities and can even dial down the not-so-good ones. It's like nature's own perfect teamwork. Okay, so we've talked about all the amazing stuff, but now we need to get serious for a minute. The text has a really important section it calls the Covenant of Caution. And we really need to pay attention here, because this is absolutely essential stuff if you're even thinking about trying CBD. So let's walk through this, step by step. Number one. Listen to your own body. Super important. Everyone reacts differently. Number two, you have to know that CBD can interact with other medications, or as the text calls them, earthly potions. And that brings us to the big one, number three. And I can't stress this enough. Talk to your doctor, your earthly healer, before you even think about partaking, especially if you're on any other meds. Seriously, this is not a suggestion. It's a must do. And the source wraps things up with this beautiful blessing. It really captures the whole spirit of the text, you know? It's all about being wise, being cautious, 
and seeking a positive, beneficial experience, finding that perfect balance between respecting the plant and exploring its potential. So when you boil it all down, what have we learned from this unique perspective? Well, first, that CBD is this archangel of balance. It's all about grounding, not intoxicating. Second, it's not a solo act. It works best with others in what we know as the entourage effect. And third, and most importantly, wisdom and caution are your best friends here. You have to be smart about it. And that kind of leaves us with one last big thought, right? If we take this metaphor out of the world of cannabis and into our own lives, I mean, we all have those fiery chariot moments of ambition and drive, and we all have those anchoring moments of stress or anxiety. So the real question is, how do we find our own archangel of balance in the middle of it all? Definitely something to chew on. What was I saying? The fan, the click, the home.